I was just in the lab mixing a fragrance, um, just an idea that came to my mind from some work that I've been doing um, on consonant analysis. And um, yeah, it came to my mind actually, the, the, the snag with making fragrances all the time is that you actually become desensitized to how they actually smell. It's a bit like working in a chocolate factory, you work with chocolates all day, so you just become desensitized to them, you know, if you're eating them from the, the production line. It, it's just like not eating chocolates at all. So the same thing with the fragrances that I'm making. Um, I just made up a sample now and I thought, well, it smells okay, but um, I can't really tell, you know, exactly how nice it smells because I've got a wide range of ingredients and when you put them together, you know, in any combination, they always smell nice. They always produce a different smell, a, a nice smell. Um, and I suppose it's, it's down to the individual customer who rarely smells fragrances you know they, they might smell one or two um they, they'd be the ones to actually decide or a judge whether what you produced actually smells nice um so i've, I've found that quite interesting you think with a, a wide range of ingredients uh, and combinations to make different smells that you'd be able to work out which one smells nicer than the other but no <laughs> It just becomes more difficult. So, um, yeah, it smells nice. Wood and, um, that was wood and um, jatamansi or spikenard, um, which is sort of like a very strong, um, sort of like uh, deep red smell. Um, so, yeah, it smells nice, but I don't know whether people would like it.